Hello everyone. In the previous session, we learned about join data tables. Now, in this session, we are going to learn about merge data table activity in the data table activities. First of all, we'll see what is the difference for join data tables and merge data table. If you see on my screen that I'm having student information, that is roll number, student name, class, and subject marks, that what students got, that is in the sheet one. Actually, we'll get this data in the data table one. And in sheet two, I'm having roll number, student name, and different data like age and location. Now, when I'm going to use join data table, the output is looks like that. How it will look by using inner join or full join or left join will get table one data after that in the if you see in the column that will get in the same rows that will get the information over here side by side. That is nothing but both the data tables are joining based on the condition and then you will get in the output in the different data table that is output data table and then you are going to store the data in the Excel or you, you are going to write the data in the Excel. Now, whereas merge that if you can see, we are having two data tables, but you one is source and the one in the destination. The source one will be written on the destination along with the existing data. This is how it will looks like in the, uh, in the merge data table. Like, you know, we are having data table one and data table two. Now, let me show you practically by using UiPath Studio. I have already created a sequence name, match data table. Match data table having Excel application scope and having read range activity that is reading from the sheet one and it is going to be storing the data in the VAD data table one. If you see the output, we are having in the VAD data table one. In the same way, I'm going to read the data by using read range activity that is sheet two that I'm going to store in another data table that is var data table two. Now I have assigned the data when I'm going to read the data from the sheet one that I have assigned var data table one. When I'm going to read the data by using read range activity from the sheet two that I'm going to store the output in var data table two. Now I'm having two data tables. How can I go ahead and merge these two data tables? I'm not going to use any join data tables. I'm going to use merge data table activity. Now let me go to activities and I'm going to search for merge data table where you can find under programming under data table you will find merge data table. If you see over here when you mouse over it will say match the specified data table with the current data table indicating whether the preserved changes and how to handle missing schemas in the current data table. You, we have to get the point missing schemas as well as the including the you know the merging the specified data table that is the main purpose where we are going to use this merging now let me go ahead let me drag and drop first of all we'll see the properties of the merge data table now the main properties of the merge data table one is destination in the sense in which data table that you want to write the data another one the missing schema Missing schema action, if you see, there are four types. Let me drop that. Now, if you see, I'm having add, ignore, and error, and add key. I will explain you these four properties which are belongs to the missing schemas also. Now, we'll see the source. The source is nothing but the uh, which data table I want to use as a source and which data table I want to use as a destination. Now, I will use the destination as read range that is where data table one that is the destination in the sheet two data i want to insert into the sheet one data table that is nothing but by using where data table two data i want to insert or i want to match the data into the where data table one that is my main concern now the destination i have given it as where data table one and you can see the source i'm going to give it as where data table now let me go ahead let me hide this data now what I'm going to do if you see I'm going to use source as var data table 2 and the destination is var data table 1 and the missing schema is add nothing but whatever the data is missing in these two tables I'm going to add it over here okay now let me go ahead let me write the data into the 
by using right range into the Excel. Now let me drag and drop after merge data table. Now I'm going to use sheet three that I can say our merge sheet. It's better to say merge sheet. And then what is the data table? The destination, if you see in the mobile merge, I'm going to use the destination, right? That is the data table which I'm going to use because of it's having all the data. Okay, now let me go ahead. Let me select the data table that is VAD data table. Now let me go ahead. Let me save the bot. Now to hold the data, I'm just using message box as an activity. Let me drag and drop and I'm say process completed. Now for the right range, what are the properties that we have to give for the add headers as an option? Now let me go ahead. Let me select that checkbox. Now let me run the bot. Now, if you see the process has been completed, now you will understand over here from by seeing the output. If you see in the data table one that I'm having only this kind of information, that is nothing but I'm having role number, student name, class on the subjects, right? Let me change it for you. Now, this is the data table one. And if you can see the remaining data, this is from the data table two, right? Now you can it is going to be merging the data, which are I'm, I have given the missing schema as add. That's the reason you can see these two columns along with this data over here. That is nothing but you are going to be merging two data tables into one data table that is by giving source and destination. This is how we are going to add the missing schema in merge data table. Now we'll talk about the another missing schema let me go to med data table and then let me go to the properties. And now if I say ignore, I'm going to use another schema action that is ignore. What will happen data two? I'm going to, uh, you know, what are the extra columns that we have in the VAD data table two that I am going to ignore them while I'm going to write into the VAD data table. That is what is the main, whatever the common that we have from the data table, we're going to add them only. Now let me go ahead. Now what we'll do, I'm going to clear the, uh, you know, entire data from the, from the sheet. Now let me go ahead, let me run the bot. Now you can see over here, the process has been completed. Now, if you observe, so in the data table two, I'm having age and location. So that I'm going to be ignoring the two columns and then you can see only role number and student has been given as an output by merging two data tables. This is how we are going to use merge data table. Now we'll see another property that what we have error. So if you see the missing schema that I'm going to give it as an error, it is nothing but simply while you are going to debugging the data or debugging particular bot at the time you will use this missing schema action. Nothing but what will happen in the data table one and data table two, whenever you are going to comparing these two uh, source and destination data tables, you will find it out which column has been missed out. You will find it out in the output itself or error list over here itself. Let me go ahead, let me run the bot. Now, if you see over here, target table data table missing with the definition of column age. It, you, you can understand over here in the sheet one that I'm having missing one age and location. If I'm going to uh, use these two things, when I'm going to use missing schema, it will show it as, uh, you know, what are the columns has been missed out. Okay, it is only using for the debugging purpose. Now we are having another missing schema that is with add with key. So you don't find much difference with add and add with key whenever you are going to use in the Excel without primary keys. Now what will happen if you observe over here, I'm having duplicate data, one, one, and even that you are going to get it the data extra rows. It's simply we can say that is joints like inner joints that we want to. I don't want to use uh, this duplicate rows like this. I want to show in the same way how I was using in the uh, joints, right? In the same way, if you want to show that by using add keys only, you can do that. But directly, I can't go ahead and show this over here. How can I go ahead and do that? There's a different format. We can't use it on directly on this because of we required primary keys in the both the 
sheets or data table that is sheet one data table or sheet two data table i want to use primary case directly to achieve this that we are having a different process how can we go ahead and do that let me go ahead let me delete this merge i'm going to use multiple assign activity let me drag and drop multiple assign now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a primary case on bad data table one as well as data table two. What is the, we are having role number that we can take it as a primary key. Okay, now let me go ahead and let me do that. How can we set the primary keys in on the, where, on the data tables? So this is purely .NET code that what we have. Don't worry, I will show you that where data table one dot primary key okay now we have seen right that is add with key that is the purpose that I am going to use it primary key over here and now where I need to add that column in the data table one dot primary key I want to set that as a primary key so let me go ahead let me expand that now where that we can put it out I'm going to say it as new that is what is that data column So I want to add a data column in the format of, so what is the variable that we are having where data table one. I'm going to give the same name over here where data table one dot columns. So if you see, I'm having the columns in one of the columns that I'm going to make it as, I'm going to make it as primary key that is roll number okay now in the data table one where data table one I'm going to make it roll number one as a primary key in the same way I'm going to add one more thing that is for the where data table two dot primary key I'm going to assign in the both the data tables that is how I can go ahead and do that I'm just using where data table two and then I'm going to click on OK. Now, after once I have been assigned that primary key into the data table, now I want to invoke match. I can't use directly this match data table over here. So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to use invoke method. I want to invoke a method that is that is invoke method activity. Let me drag and drop. And uh, target object, that what is the target object that we are having via data table one and I am going to use merge. Merge is the method that I'm going to use it. And then once the invoke method has been completed, I'm going to merge this, and then I'm going to show the output in, uh, that is in Excel. Now let me go back to my merge sheet, and let them, I'm going to say some other sheet so that you will understand that. Now I will give it as invoke. After giving the method name that I'm going to add some more properties for the invoke method that is parameters. You can see the collection. Let me go ahead. Let me click on this collection. Now I'm going to give the direction over here as in and the type is data table because of the data table two data I'm going to insert into the data table one that is match right now I'm going to take system dot data dot data table and then what is the value that is var data table two now let me go ahead let me click on okay let me explain you again I'm going to use read range activity I'm going to store the data in var data table one in the same way sheet two data in the var data table two and I'm going to make them roll number as primary key by using multiple assign and then I'm going to invoke match functionality match method by using invoke method and after that finally I'm going to write the data into right range into the sheet of match sheet hyphen invoke now let me run the bot now if you see match sheet dot hyphen invoke has been created and you can see the data has came side by side if you see in the match sheet one that you can see the data data table one is first and after the data table two has been given but whereas in the match sheet hyphen invoke that you can see the data columns of the two data tables you can see side by side like it's like a full join but the difference is that that you can see seventh row if you see that is the blank right 
so the blank rows on the left hand side as well as the right hand side that it will come at the end of the data at the end of the sheet order at the end of the data table now but here you can see the data came in between and you can see the null values over here also i hope you understand how to use merge data table in this session thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day